Scattered across this great country are automotive treasures, collector cars owned by top enthusiasts, rare gems of rich pedigree. We invite them all to come to Auto Geek's Garage and show off their proudest vehicles while we get to ask, what's in Auto Geek's Garage? Welcome to another edition of What's in Auto Geek's Garage. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and for this episode, my celebrity guest is Frank Hawley. How you doing, Frank? Mike, good to be here. Now, you're a, you're a really world-famous drag racer, right? <laughs> and you got your own school. Can you tell us a little bit about that and some of your history? Well, I've, I've raced all my life, uh, off and on. Uh, drove, got a chance a number of years ago to drive a very famous car called the Chi-Town Hustler, a nitro funny car. And uh, Austin Coyle, who was John Force's crew chief, was my crew chief on the car. And we won the world championship back in 82 and 83. I uh, got an opportunity to drive a lot of different cars and uh, even drove for Daryl Gwynn, who's uh, from South Florida for a, a few years. And, and we, uh, I got one championship in funny cars and top fuel dragsters, which was, was very, very cool. And I have seen a lot of very cool cars in my lifetime, but I don't know that I've seen anything all as wild as this vehicle right here, Mike. Man, this thing's wild, isn't it? That's the only word that actually describes this. This is a 1934 Ford truck, although it's kind of hard to tell nowadays because of all the modifications. When Ford made these pickup trucks in 1934, I can't imagine that there would have been anybody at Ford Motor Company that would have figured out <laughs> that something would look like this one day. Especially, see, I've got some background with the Hemi engine because all those nitro dragsters and nitro funny cars I drove had an engine very similar to this. Built uh, by Chrysler Corporation many years ago, but they have aftermarket engines now. This one here actually is 572 cubic inches and makes over 900 horsepower. Now in the nitro cars, they make about 8,000 horsepower, but we only race on a racetrack. To have 900 horsepower from a supercharged Hemi engine on the street. That's right. It, that, that's just crazy. If this vehicle went out to the drag strip, which I don't suspect that it has, as yeah. good as it looks. No. But if it did, this vehicle would probably run the quarter mile in somewhere around nine seconds. Yeah, I'd say easily. So when you start looking around, that's why they've got these big 18 inch wide Mickey Thompson tires on the back. Uh, I don't think it's as aerodynamic as some of today's race cars, but it certainly is a spectacular machine. Oh yeah, it just it just screams horsepower and adrenaline too. Yeah, I really like a, I like when you know. For a lot of people that don't know, the instantly way the way you can instantly identify a Hemi is the spark plugs coming out of the top of the, the valve covers here like this. You know, because a lot of the younger kids they don't know that. Yep, and it had of course opposing valves in the, the cylinders and and, and a, a hemispherical shaped combustion chamber, and that's that's where it uh, it got the word Hemi. Yep. Uh, this one here has as I said a roots blower on it and that's a similar in style, although the new ones are bigger, that they actually run on the, uh, on the top fuel dragsters now with that style of rotor in it. So it uh, makes incredible amount of boost in the manifold and that is one of the things that allows them to make so much power. Well, this has a turbo 400 for transmission and a low car shifter. What kind of transmissions do you run in your funny cars? Actually, the nitro cars don't have transmissions now. They have clutches that slide and they lock up as they go down the racetrack with a mechanism at the back of the bell housing. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things funny cars don't have, I got to tell you, because they're race cars, is a paint job that looks like this. Mike, this is, it's, it's candy apple red. I can't even imagine how perfect this paint looks. How does something get like this? Well, uh, this is one of our shop cars, and so I take care of the paint on this car. And actually, the first time it came in, it looked pretty good, but it had a lot of scratches in the paint just from continually being wiped down with the microfiber towel and spray detailers by other people around the car. And so what we do is we put it through what's called a show car makeover. And when we do that, we do everything by machine. I'll tell you what, I've got a swirl finder right back here. Just inspect it for swirls. Hold that about a foot off the paint, and tell me what you see. I see absolutely beautiful red paint, not a swirl in it. Anytime you can work by machine, that's how you want to do your work. So what we use is we, we removed all the swirls and scratches by machine and then we machine apply to wax. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now because even though this looks really good, you still got to maintain it. And what we used on here is called the Wolfgang Fusion Paste Wax. Now this is a blend of polymers and carnauba. It's $175 for a jar uh, of it. $175. Yeah, but here's what you get. You get the Wolfgang Fusion Wax. Each one of these is numbered and signed by the president and CEO, Max McKee. And not only that, you get a free refill. Very so, cool. Yeah, you get so 40 applications out of every jar multiplied by two. And that's how you get that show car look. 
Hey, we're gonna finish checking out this 34 Ford while we take a break. So what do you think, man? That is very, very cool. Looks really good, huh? What's in Auto Geek's Garage is being brought to you by Meguiar's, Meguiar's car care product since 1901. By Lake Country, pioneering manufacturers of buffing and polishing products sold worldwide. And by Minzerna, the world's finest polishing materials. What do the following award-winning car designers and builders have in common? Chip Booth, Brian Fuller, Alan Johnson, Justin Padfield, Mark Stilo, Steve Stroke, Denny Terzich, Troy Trepanier. They all depend on ARP fasteners. Leading car builders depend on ARP fasteners, and so should you. ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. The best looking cars on the road deserve only the best when it comes to car care. Pinnacle Natural Brilliance. Pinnacle Sovereign Pace Wax is all natural. It uses ivory carnauba wax to create a sizzling shine. Pinnacle literally has a product for every square inch of your car. For more information about the entire line of Pinnacle products and for some valuable tips and techniques, check out PinnacleWax.com or AutoGeek.net. Hey, welcome back with my guest celebrity, Frank Holly. Frank, what do you think? This thing's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm a big Camaro fan anyway, and this 2010 Camaro is a beautiful example of the engineering that went into this automobile. But if you take a look, this one is not exactly stock. Now, the proud owner of this machine is James Harpole. James, come on in here. How you doing? Good to meet you. Now, Tell me a little bit about the car here. Did You bought the car brand new, is that right? Yeah, we started out with a factory 2010 SS. Um, basically had 19 miles on it. We brought it back to the shop, Extreme Performance, and uh, stripped it down. So you started out with a brand new car, and you didn't kind of piece this through. You just went bam, and this is what we ended up with, right? Yep, yep, exactly. We just tore it apart, suspension, brakes, wheels, tires, supercharger, um, just started going to town. and. See what we came up with. What kind of horsepower we got on this supercharged engine? Uh, we got about 650 to the rear wheels, um, you know, 700 to the crank, um, six pounds of boost, very low, great now, performing vehicle. With these wheels and the suspension and stuff, have you ever had it out on the track? Um, we had it out on the track once. Uh, it was amazing, a lot of power. You know, obviously it's hard to get traction when you have this kind of power with running low profile tires, but it was amazing. I mean, performance wise, uh, I, I didn't have anything to compare it with, but it's just unbelievable. Now James, this engine, we can see part of it through the glass here in the hood, but let's take a peek underneath that hood. And uh, how much boost does the supercharger make? Well, basically it's tuned down right now. It's making six pounds of boost. Um, you can go, you know, probably up to eight, but it's very reliable right now. The amount of power that's in it. Um, you know, we have a custom strut bar on here. Nice and cold air intake. It's got stainless work, exhaust and headers. Um, amazing, amazing. It's just, I mean, if, if you were going to buy one from the factory, this is how you would want it. This thing just is gorgeous. Now, Mike, we were talking about that black and, and how difficult black is to maintain. Uh, tell me a little bit about the finish on this car. Well, the Camaro comes from the factory now with what's called a ceramic clear coat. And can I get you to go ahead and close the hood there, James? The ceramic clears are really hard, and that makes the paint last a long time. But a lot of people confuse last a long time with look good a long time. And even though they will last a long time, if, you're, if everything that touches the paint isn't soft and gentle, it's going to put scratches in. And that includes just the way you wipe it. Now, James, when I look at your paint, it's a beautiful paint job five feet away, but you get up close, and I saw it when you drove in in the sunshine. This has a lot of swirls and scratches. So I'm going to show you how to safely remove these by machine using what's called a Flex 3401 force rotation dual action polisher. And what this is really nice about this tool is that it's unlike a rotary, it actually oscillates like that. Okay, so it rotates, makes a circle, and then it makes a tiny circle inside that circle so you can't burn the paint and you won't put swirls in. But that's how I would machine polish this out. I'd do a three-step system, uh, remove the swirls, polish to high gloss, and then put down a coat of wax. And I do every single thing, every step, by machine. And that gets my hand out of the picture so I don't put finger marks in. But that's how I would take care of this. So let me show you how easy this is. Cord over shoulder so I don't bar the finish.
Now this first step, I remove the swirls and scratches. I'm going to switch to a softer pad. And I'm going to switch over to a finishing polish. Always wipe off the residue from the first step first. Wow, look at that. Can you tell from over there how much yeah. clear and shiny that is? Okay. Right. Okay, this is a scratch resistant clear polish. Just gonna put some on here. Again, cord over shoulder. Wipe this off, and now I'm ready to machine apply some wax. Now for this, I'm gonna actually bump my speed down. As you saw before, I was on a fairly high speed, okay, because I need the power to pull the swirls and scratches out. But now that the swirls and scratches are gone, I'm gonna bump the speed down, switch over to a very soft finishing wax. And for this, I'm gonna use some Black Fire Midnight Sun. This is a paste wax, but I'm gonna show you how to apply it by machine. Just like that. Put that back in there. Bump the speed down on the flex to a one. Actually, I'll put that on the two. Does that look easy? Okay. Make a few passes just like that. Then again, soft microfiber towel. Come down and gently wipe this off. Now I want you to come over here and check out the results. How's that look? That well, looks like a whole different paint job. Yep, it has a deep dark, has a deep dark wet shine just like you want. Simply amazing. Blackfire Car Care products are proudly made in the USA and offer a complete line of interior and exterior products to clean, condition, polish, and protect every inch of your car from top to bottom. Blackfire products are formulated using state-of-the-art polymer technology for ease of use and superior performance. Blackfire compounds, polishes, and waxes are famous for creating that deep, wet shine that everyone loves. Don't just turn heads, create whiplash. Visit AutopiaCarCare.com. Whether you're an automotive enthusiast, professional detailer, or body shop technician, the secret to the perfect shine is machine polishing with Lake Country pads. The key to a flawless show car finish is matching the right pad to the job, and Lake Country has a pad for every detailing project. Lake Country is the industry leader in product development with over 60 years of hands-on detailing experience. When you're ready to machine polish, buy the best Lake Country pads. AutoGeek.net has everything you need to keep your vehicle looking its very best. Mothers, Meguiar's, 3M, Pinnacle, just to name a few. In fact, AutoGeek carries over 60 brands with thousands of unique items. The expert staff can answer any question you have about any product via email, discussion forum, live chat, or by phone. The selection is huge, the prices are low, and they ship it right to your door. It couldn't possibly get any easier. AutoGeek.net, we are car care. Mike Phillips here. I've been buffing out cars all my life and teaching classes on machine polishing paint since 1988. And out of all the polishes I've ever used, I've never found anything that outperforms Menzerna polishes for a true show car finish. Made in Germany since 1888, Menzerna offers a complete line of compounds, medium cut, fine cut, and ultra fine cut polishes to create a high gloss finish just like you see here. Check out MenzernaUSA.com. It's time now for Off the Shelf. Quick tips on detailing your car with Mike Phillips and brought to you by McGuire's Car Care Products. This week's email comes from Dave in Arizona. And Dave writes, my car has a lot of black plastic trim and I struggle finding a product to restore the original appearance like the plastic trim had when his car was brand new. Well, Dave, let me show you what I use. This is called McGuire's Ultimate Black. It's a product specifically made for all the plastic trim on your car. Now the way this works is you just take and you apply it to a foam applicator pad like this. You just come down and apply it. 
spread it in really good. And this product dries quickly and it cures to the surface. So if you wash your car or if you're caught in the rain, it won't just run off or turn splotchy looking. And it restores that like new look to faded and dull plastic using polymer technology. And that's McGuire's car care tip for this week for Off the Shelf. Welcome back. My guest celebrity is Frank Colley. And Frank, what do you think of this old two-door Ford? This thing's beautiful. It's a 1940 Ford, and back in the Model T era, Henry Ford said you can have any color car you want as long as it's black. black that's right. And this one is black. Yep. Richard Apsley, come on in here, Richard. Hi, Frank. Good nice to, to see you. you. This is the owner nice of Richard. this nice beautiful car. Richard, now, from my understanding, you haven't had this car very long. This no. is new in your family, isn't it? That's right. We just recently found this car not too far from here in Florida. I'd looked for over 10 years for a nice uncut 40 Ford Coupe and was able to find this one. I've always intended to build one and I found it pretty much the way I would have built it. So it's, it's going to be untouched. Now, have you got a history with uh, old Fords like this? You're telling me you used to race some stuff like this, we right? We used to take these Fords and, and gut them and tear them up. That's why you can't find them. They were the dirt tracks, okay. they, they just destroyed them. So uh, you just can't find uncut, undemolished 40 Ford Coupes. And I was lucky enough to find one right here under, under my nose. So. Now, how, how's this thing? Whenever I see a car like this, I, I, I think, wow, does it handle well? Does it have any modern conveniences? Is it really stock? as it looks uh, tell me about that uh, this car is just stock looking from the outside it has a modern drivetrain underneath rack and pinion steering uh, late model drive uh, 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 gearing under the front end and everything and also an updated motor in it so. well let's take a peek here uh, what kind of this would have originally come with a flathead engine right that's right and that's that's right. And, and i don't know but it wouldn't have had a lot of horsepower right this looks like it's got a little bit more power. Yeah, it's a ZZ4 with uh, fast burn aluminum heads on, Edelbrock intake. Uh, How much power is this thing going to make? It's running a, a little over 400 horsepower. My gosh, that's so that you could ex exceed the speed limit, I imagine. Right. You know, I was taking a look at this car, and everything on it looks absolutely beautiful. But, uh, Mike, I, I, you showed me how to use this tool earlier. And yeah. this is impressive because if you shine this down on here, as nice as this looks uh, without this light, now I can see some scratches. What, uh, is there anything you can do about that? Yeah, you know, this is a beautiful car. It's got black paint, and like a lot of people always say, black is in the color. It's a full-time job. And I think that we could take this finish to like a show car finish, and that's what we're all about, using a couple products from Manzerna USA. Would you like to see what we can do with this? Sure. Okay, can we close that hood? because I want to get any splatter in there. I'm pretty good at this, but just to make sure. Now, like Frank was saying, there's a lot of swirls and scratches in this. And so two ways to take this out is by machine polishing. And for that, I'm going to use the Minzer. I got two Minzerna products here, and I'm going to take it and show you how to use a foam pad by machine to safely take out the swirls. Now, let's see, I got the SF4500 here. This is actually a finishing polish, and this is the SF1500. This is what we call super intensive polish. This is the one I'm going to use to take out the swirls. And to do that, I'm just going to take and put some right here on the pad. Do you remember where you shine that light down, don't you, Frank? Yep. Okay, because I'm going to have you come back and look in the same place real quick here. So watch this. And this is actually pretty easy. Okay, that's just a few seconds of polishing. This is the one that removes the swirls. And I would also follow this up with the finishing polish to actually bring up the gloss, but I think you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about right now. Okay, bring that light in here and shine it down on there. Mike, that is so impressive. Uh, a lot easier with the machines than doing it by hand, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. And that's just the first step. Again, we would follow that with a less aggressive pad, then go to the less aggressive polish. And when we're all done, this is a product that's brand new by Minzerna. This is called their Paint Refresh. This is actually a professional grade spray detailer that also leaves protection behind. But the good news is it also leaves an anti-static coating on there. And you know with black paint, anytime you got dust in the air, it's going to want to stick to the paint. Then you wipe it, you put the scratches in. So this is going to go a long ways to helping you keep the scratches out of the paint by making the surface anti-static. Hey, we're going to finish out this car, but we'll be right back. Let me show you how easy this is to use. 
What's in Auto Geek's Garage has been brought to you by Flex, the original, by Optimum, Accelerate into the Future, and by Wolfgang, German-American Technology. Flex Power Tools are German-engineered specifically for polishing paint. The Flex 3401 is a forced rotation, dual-action polisher that won't inflict swirls into the paint because the pad rotates and oscillates at the same time. The Flex PE14 rotary buffer weighs only 5 pounds, but has all the power of a full-size rotary buffer. Its compact size and lightweight reduces fatigue and makes it perfect for all your machine polishing projects. Visit FlexNorthAmerica.com. For a lot of us, the automobile is the second biggest investment that we make. Now, one of the best ways to protect this investment is with the entire line of Wolfgang car care products. Wolfgang Fusion uses German-engineered super polymers blended with ivory carnauba wax for long-lasting protection with a three-dimensional crystal-like shine. For more information about the entire line of Wolfgang car care products and time-saving tips and techniques, check out WolfgangCarCare.com or AutoGeek.net. Amazing results, even in full sun. Now go have fun. Welcome back. I'm with my celebrity guest, Frank Colley. Frank, what do you think of this Arrest Me Red Mach 1? This thing's beautiful. You know, this was one of the hottest cars on the drag strip years ago, and this is an original and authentic Mach 1, one of the most cloned cars ever. Let's get Matt Sarah in here. Matt, come on in here. Uh, you're responsible for this vehicle being here today. Good, to, yes, sir. good that you brought it out for us. Uh, now, this car here, obviously, uh, uh, is, is a daily driver. You right. drive it around every day. Now it says it's got a 429 Ram Air in it. Was that the original engine in the car? No, it originally came with the 351. The 351 was a popular engine. Now, any chance you know whether it had a Cleveland or a Windsor head on that? No idea. I, I, did, I wasn't sure if you did, but the, the uh, Cleveland head was the one that Jack Roush actually made famous and, and it made a tremendous amount of power and was a very popular drag race engine. Uh, Mike, this, this car looks great right now. Uh, Everything seems perfect on it. Matt, what do you normally do for car care? I just wash it and wax it. That's pretty much it, just wash and wax. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's a good two-step. Uh, it's parked outside every day when you go to work, right? right? Okay, well, one of the things I did when you first pulled in is I wiped it down and I inspected it. Now, what I want you guys to do is I want you to feel the paint with your bare hand. Just feel across here. Tell me how that feels. Nice and smooth. Feels, feels good. Feels pretty good, huh? Yeah, pretty smooth. Okay. And that can be kind of deceiving. So now what I want you to do is put this sandwich baggie on and fill the paint again. <laughs> then tell me what you feel. Wow, there's bumps all over that thing. Yeah, it feels like sandpaper. It feels like sandpaper, doesn't it? Okay, what happens when you put that baggie on is that thin layer of plastic, it heightens your sensitivity, enables you to feel things that your skin can't detect. And what this tells me when I feel this and I feel those little bumps is we need to clay this paint. Here's why. If you're, a car like this, what you really want is a high gloss finish, right? You want it to really just gleam in the sun. Absolutely. Well, gloss comes from smoothness, and smoothness comes from having your paint perfectly clean. And over time, when this thing sits outside, let's pull this thing forward here. When this thing sits outside, anything in the air is going to land on that paint, and if you don't wash it right away, it's going to start to bond, and that's what's happening. There's probably something like tree sap mist, industrial fallout, or overspray paint. Now, this is called detailing clay. I want you to hold on to that, Frank. And I'm going to demonstrate this, and I'm going to hand this off to like you. Play-Doh. It's kind of like a high-tech Play-Doh, exactly right. But except there's an abrasive in here. Now this is the Detailer's Pro Series detailing clay. It's a medium grade clay and it's going to completely remove all these contaminants off here. And the way you use this is you take some clay lube, that's what I got right here, you mist some onto the paint, then you place this in your hand with your fingertips just over the clay, put some right onto the clay like that, then you want to come down here and basically rub this like a bar of soap over your arm, you know, just back and forth. And it's kind of a fast movement, it's not a slow movement. That looks like that wouldn't do anything at all. 
except when I turn this over, look at all the gunk coming off there. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now, Matt, I want you to try. Go ahead and start up down there, and once you just finish where I took off here, and then we'll wipe this off. And then the thing about this is, is anytime you wax your car, if you've got these, go ahead and give that a try there. Frank, see what you think of that. Just get it glide. Kind of Again, a it move. just slides over. It doesn't feel like I'm removing any dirt or material at all. Well, yeah, actually, I just kind of clayed that. But when you start out, you'll feel it kind of grip. And then as it starts to glide effortlessly, that's a sign you've removed the contaminants and it's ready to wipe off the clay lube. But here's the thing about this. If you've got above surface bonded contaminants on there, when you put your wax on there, the contaminants are in the way of the wax actually getting to the paint. And so you could wax this thing all day long and you're probably not going to leave a lot of wax behind. At least it's not going to last very long because it can't get to the paint to stick to the paint. Wax is formulated to actually bond to paint, not contaminants. Now that we got the contaminants off, now the wax can stick better because it can bond better. Now to put the wax on here, what we're going to use is this is a high carnauba wax, okay? It's going to give this just an amazing glossy shine. That's what you want with red paint, you know, something the police would notice, right? <laughs> okay, so just come down here and put some of this on. I heard red cars get more traffic tickets. Is that true? Uh, I think that's what I've heard. I've never experienced <laughs> myself. Of course, I would never get a ticket, you know. <laughs> And this is another one of these waxes. It's a true show car wax, so of course you want to have it on nothing but a flawless finish like we got here, except for the contaminants are now removed. And the good news is, is you don't have to let this dry. So after you put a coat of wax on just like that, come back, clean microfiber towel, wipe it right off, and then I'm going to have you guys fill this again. So grab your baggies. Okay, now fill that paint. Wow. Different? That's an, that's an amazing difference. It's smooth like a piece of glass now. Yeah, wow. So now it's clean, smooth. When you pull this out in the sun, the gloss is going to be there, and it's protected, and that wax is going to actually last. And that's how, that's how I would take care of this, just to keep it real simple. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, that's it for this episode. But come back next week. We're going to check out some more amazing cars here at What's in Auto Geese Garage. Well, I think one of you can jump on the back. The rest of us get up here on the front of the hood. We got to finish this car out. Sounds good. All products featured on today's program are available from AutoGeek.net.